And welcome back, our dear viewers. Uh, remember uh, last year when Enactus Egypt students won the second place in the championship uh, of Enactus in entrepreneurship? We honestly believe that uh, the highest uh, rank uh, for a non-profit Egyptian organization could reach. Actually, today the Egyptian students are showing us that uh, the sky is the limit. And Enactus is the world's largest experimental learning platform that aims at creating a better world with the help of the next generation of entrepreneurial leaders and the social innovators this year. The four finalists at in Actus World Cup Championship were Egypt, Canada, the United States and Germany. And Egypt nailed first place for their project Rosie Water Race. This year's World Cup took place in uh, San Jose, California on the 16th and 18th of uh, the month of September. To shed more light on that, we are very much delighted to have very active in Actus uh, members, Sara Khalafallah Girgis and Hazem Tari Rifat. Hello and thank you for being with us. Thank, thank you. you. We start with ladies uh, first, of course, uh, Sara. Uh, can you uh, tell us about? Uh, are you in the same faculty? Um, uh, of uh, uh, you are in the pharmaceutical pharmacy. That was one of the reason uh, that you uh, were thinking of the project that you have uh, decided, and it did win uh, the championship of uh, the world uh, within Actus. Uh, was it related to the field of um, studies, uh, Sarah? Uh, actually, we don't have mm. uh, the uh, one main major. Mm. Uh, our team is uh, consists of uh, many majors. Uh, mm. I study pharmacy and Hazem studies uh, commercial. Yes. Um, the the team always we uh, we, uh, we make sure in the selection process to have uh, diverse uh, backgrounds of uh, faculties mm. to uh, fulfill all the gaps in the project uh, we need. Mm. Uh, we need medical students for sure on the manufacturing process mm. of our project Rosie. Uh, and also commercial students are needed in uh, the marketing and uh, financial uh, budgeting mm. and uh, putting financial plans in the project. Mm. Uh, so we don't have one major uh, of uh, faculty, we have uh, many majors. Yes. Uh, the question for you here, how far this diversity in the studies um, that you are from very different uh, background here uh, regarding the, your uh, studies is helping the project and to what extent that uh, give you a boost in uh, competing worldwide with other uh, uh, students from around the globe. Okay, so we all come from different academic uh, mm. backgrounds, as uh, Sarah mentioned. Yeah. yeah for me, I'm studying uh, uh, yes. business at uh, Commerce, uh, mm. Faculty of Commerce. Yes. Uh, this makes us uh, come with different innovative, uh, mm. innovative mm. ideas mm. Uh, throughout uh, the whole year. Uh, at the beginning of the year, we have like one month uh, that we work. Uh, uh, in it uh, yeah. to initiate these uh, ideas yeah. uh, we didn't come only with the the project we won uh, we won uh, with we had like two more uh, projects yes. uh, but we only uh, participated with uh, with, one. with one project yes. yeah yes. so um, tell us here about um, uh, how did you first participate in this competition and uh, tell us about the story of uh, organizing the team and deciding to compete uh, uh, in the international competition sir uh, firstly, uh, Enactus Cairo University was uh, founded in um, uh, 2006. Yeah. Uh, we get the national champion uh, title uh, three times before, and this is the fourth time. Mm. Uh, so we were uh, representing Egypt in uh, international competitions four times, mm. but uh, this is the, f uh, the first time this year to uh, make it through the finals and uh, meet the finalists, mm. and also winning the title of the uh, champion, World Cup champion. Um, so we uh, we were from um, uh, mm. we had like uh, 13 years um, in this mm. competition. Mm. Uh, uh, same question here for you. How uh, did uh, you first participate in in Actus? Why did you decide first to join in sure. Actus? And how did you get the idea, uh, all of you, to participate in the uh, competition uh, on the international level? Okay. So for me, I heard yes. about in Actus. Uh, when I was in the high school. Mm. Uh, so you know it even before joining Yeah, Memphis. yeah, I had like, my cousin was in, in Actus and my friends mm. uh, too. So we basically uh, knew uh, that mm. Actus was uh, different from other student activities as its uh, mm. main goal is to improve people's uh, lives. So that's what we want to do. We all uh, collaborate together to meet uh, Actus mm. goal. It's, uh, which is uh, impacting people's lives and empower them with 
job opportunities and enhancing their quality of uh, okay. lives. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the question for you here, Sarah, how did you get the idea of using the banana fibers in your project? Uh, how did you get the idea at the beginning? Uh, we have uh, an R&D team. Uh, it, was, uh, it had a, an extensive research at the beginning to uh, find um, uh, an alternative uh, for uh, the mm. other competitors as we found that uh, after the market analysis we found that uh, the other competitors have uh, chemicals and uh, plastic that are uh, harmful for the environment and of course for uh, the ladies who are using the, the product. Yes. Uh, so we found that uh, banana fiber is uh, a very good absorbent, so it functions very well. Uh, also, it's eco-friendly as our final product is uh, free from plastic. Mm. Uh, so um, we were working on this uh, idea for uh, two years. Mm. Uh, and finally, we found that the banana fiber uh, is the main component and it's the most uh, effective one. Yes. Uh, our dear viewers, uh, we are going to watch the following report to know more about the competition. After that, we continue our interview with Inactus members. Egypt! The Inactus Egypt team from Cairo University was named Inactus World Cup 2019 champion and awarded the Ford Better World Award of 50,000 US dollars. The top three runners up from Inactus Canada at Lambton College, Inactus Germany at University of Manningham, and Inactus United States and Brigham Young University Hawaii also earned Ford Better World Award prize monies. Rachel George, President and CEO in Actus, said that these next-gen leaders demonstrated entrepreneurial action with projects and businesses that create immense collective impact around the world. He added that through innovation and collaboration, the championship team has developed sustainable solutions to transform lives using business models as a force for good. This was the signature event for Inactus, a global nonprofit with more than 72 thousand student members from 37 countries across 1730 university campuses the team developed a self-sufficient social enterprise offering a high quality eco-friendly and affordable organic pad made by women for women rosie is taking measurable steps to drive sustainable development goals clean water and sanitation decent work and economic growth and reduced inequalities. In Actus Egypt, led by country director Fatma Siri, is a member of the 36th country global network. According to the Inactus Worldwide website, our country has 44 active teams, 4,590 students, 76 projects, and over 200,000 volunteering hours so far. Welcome back, uh, continuing our interview. Uh, actually, the goal of Inactus is to create a better sustainable world. Uh, how Rosie would be able uh, to fill these goals from your point of view? Okay, so basically Rosie is uh, mm. a self-sufficient expanding model. Mm. Uh, as now we are uh, initiating central hubs in different govern rates in Egypt. We already reached uh, nine govern rates in Egypt mm. uh, and expanded in Sudan and Uganda. So they are actually working on uh, their own. Uh, we just help uh, them in uh, how they will initiate new uh, hubs in different govern rates so they can uh, be expanding uh, more. Uh, as well as our product is uh, eco-friendly as it has no plastic uh, and it's uh, so natural. So the issue of uh, sustainability and uh, protecting the environment is yes. one of the top priorities of Yes, Inactus. for sure. We found that the other uh, mm -hmm. alternatives or competitors they have like uh, plastic and chemicals which causes severe diseases uh, for the women yes. but our product and packaging are 100 percent organic and they naturally degrade, degrade after nine months so uh, you always choose materials which are biodegradable here yes for sure we like have 100%. like yes we our project mm -hmm. must uh, tackle the people and how they will how we will ha enhance people's lives the planet how will it uh, be like uh, uh, eco-friendly yeah. and uh, the prosperity how will it enhances uh, the people's lives yes um, 
Uh, Sora here, what does uh, in your opinion make your project distinguish than the other proposed projects? And from your point of view, why actually you did win in that competition? Uh, we uh, were achieving many of the sustainable goals. Mm -hmm. uh, we were uh, achieving like um, the uh, gender equ inequality and uh, uh, fighting the poverty. Mm -hmm. um, we reached like uh, 12 of 17 uh, mm -hmm. from the SDGs. Uh, so this uh, enforced our project to win the competition. Yeah. Same question for you here, Hazim. Uh, from your point of view, why this uh, uh, project was chosen to win the competition of uh, in Actors Worldwide? Okay, so mainly the need we are tackling, uh, which is uh, the inherited uh, traditions in Egypt yeah. that, uh, we, uh, that women are facing, yeah. uh, they are not allowed to talk about some uh, subjects. Yeah. So basically, uh, we were different from other uh, projects like mm. Canada, US, and Germany. They were focusing on agriculture and their projects were actually good good of course yeah they were uh, yeah they they were they uh, challenging competitors mm. yeah but our need was like more powerful yes. and we could achieve something that uh, they, the judges were like proud of yeah mm. um, uh, tell us here Sarah to what extent did you benefit from your experience in, in actors and in this project in particular um, I was benefited from the project uh, uh, as a whole, uh, from impacting people's lives and uh, seeing the change we, are, we can do. Uh, I started to believe in my abilities more. Uh, also in, uh, in the team uh, work we had, uh, I can learn from uh, different uh, backgrounds of uh, uh, another faculties and other students. Yeah. Uh, my mates could uh, teach me uh, things I would never uh, learn from the university and the <laughs> major I study. Uh, like marketing and uh, putting financial plans and the business development. Mm -hmm. uh, so this experience has, um, I have learned a lot from, uh, from the other uh, mm -hmm. uh, mates of my team. Yes, same question for you, Hazen. What did you learn from uh, competing uh, worldwide with an actors and with teaming up with uh, uh, your members? And we have seen that yeah. you are a huge number. How many uh, okay. students are you? We're actually, our team is uh, 130 members. We, number yeah, actually. yeah. We have like uh, different teams, like marketing, uh, mm. finance, uh, presentation, and visuals. We all work uh, together to have like the final uh, project mm -hmm. and how and how we will uh, present it. Mm. Uh, so uh, mainly in my team presentation, I learned how to present uh, the idea in. Uh, uh, the perfect way how yes. we will uh, make sure that the judges will understand our words how we will play with words to make sure that uh, they actually understand it yes. uh, and uh, this was a great exposure uh -huh. expo uh, getting exposed to other teams like uh, mm. marketing how to make a marketing plan financial plan yes. and uh, how we will uh, generate uh, a new idea so mm. the whole experience is uh, we all benefit from it, yeah. Yes. So question for you, Sarah. How was the competition this year and who were the uh, team's top competitors with you? Uh, of course, the top competitors were, uh, were the finalists. Yeah. Like when we hear that uh, we're facing Canada, US and Germany. It's the scary. Th th <laughs> it is. Yes, uh, they are mm. very uh, high ranking in industry and uh, education. So yes. uh, we were a, uh, like um, scared from uh, facing them. But we were also confident in our project. Uh, we knew uh, from uh, our Enactus Egypt board and our alumni advisor board that uh, the project is, uh, is really very uh, uh, potential to win the competition. So we were mm -hmm. confident actually about it. Same question, Hazen. Okay, so <laughs> mainly uh, we, uh, I was in the presentation team. Yeah. So in the leagues we faced the South oh. Africa and the Netherlands and they were powerful as oh. they reached before uh, mm -hmm. the finalists and they in the semi-finals we met uh, Morocco and they were actually uh, a great team mm -hmm. uh, in the finalists they were Canada US and uh, Germany they were the champions before but for us in Actors Care University <coughs> we didn't win the championship uh, before but as Sora mentioned we had a great uh, team behind us yeah. uh, the 130 and the uh, advisory uh, mm -hmm. alumni board uh, mm -hmm. since 2006 they are helping us they come to each meeting uh, try to give us like tips and tips tricks and how, yeah how we will uh, mm -hmm. 
make it more so professional. Did you, uh, did you expect to win? Because uh, uh, like we have seen in the report <laughs> and in the video, we were so excited uh, yeah. when uh, it was announced, uh, the, the, the final results. Did you expect actually to, uh, to win this uh, competition? Well, when we was in Egypt, we were confident in our uh, project okay. and uh, that we will go places uh, mm -hmm. with it and since we reached the final uh, yes. uh, we are seeing here uh, how yeah. we're all excited <laughs> when yeah. uh, uh, it was announced that you are the winners of the competition yes uh, our our main competitor was like canada as they are uh, mm -hmm. they were the first place uh, last year yes. and they had like a huge <laughs> number of revenue actually. yeah they had like a huge number yes. of uh, profit and mm -hmm. revenue uh, but since they announced that they are the second place, we were all ready to, uh, to celebrate hear, yeah. uh, the announcement. Yes. Uh, Sara, what are the challenges that you did face uh, throughout your project before, of course, reaching the competition, the, the winning the competition, and how did you overcome it? Um, uh, <coughs> our main uh, challenge at the beginning was approaching the women and uh, making them up to, uh, to say their problem. Uh, of course, it's a very crucial uh, subject course. to talk about. Uh, but we could uh, overcome this challenge uh, um, as we were partnering with uh, national uh, NGOs. Mm. Uh, they were uh, very familiar with, uh, so yes. uh, we were approaching women uh, through them uh, to make them up to tell us more about their uh, problems. Mm. Um, also, uh, our limited uh, resources was um, uh, a little bit um, ha um, hindering us, uh, but we could overcome this and um, always the um, hard work pays mm. off. So um, we, d we knew that uh, the limited resources isn't the main uh, factor that we can uh, uh, win with it. Yes. Uh, Hazim, how can this uh, type of competitions add to our educational system and the value of our national educational institutions from your point of view? Okay, so, uh, well, everything that I learned in, in mm. Actis and any other student activity, mm. uh, I actually am, I'm, I'm studying it right now in the university. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, well, uh, as how to come up with the new idea, uh, how uh, innovation. Yeah. So mm. yes, innovation. Yeah. Uh, how uh, this idea uh, is it applicable or not? Uh, uh, if it's not applicable, how you can make it uh, more applicable Indeed. in uh, in the market? Do some so adjustments here. Mm. Yes. Uh, so mm. what I'm studying right now mm. in uh, business major, mm. I actually. Uh, learned it in, in Actus yes. before. Uh, Sara, how this uh, um, competition from your, your point of view and joining this competition could add uh, to uh, the educational system in the country and the value of educational institutions? Uh, of course, now uh, more people know about Egypt, more countries, and uh, they now, uh, of course, believe that uh, uh, there is uh, the, the mindset of that uh, Egypt is a developing country, mm -hmm. uh, hinders the uh, quality of education. Uh, we now uh, show that uh, we, we are we're having a very high education mm -hmm. uh, through our project that won actually the World Cup and uh, could uh, defeat uh, a very uh, high uh, educational uh, quality in other countries. Mm -hmm. So now uh, people maybe know uh, more about Egypt and uh, its education. Yes, indeed. Uh, Hazim, uh, after the winning, after winning the competition, what happened to the project? Uh, are there any ideas to market this project or is just um, a project for the university? It, not, it would not mm. be, uh, the idea would not be implemented on the ground. Well, we make sure that any project from the, uh, the start is uh, sustainable, mm. so it can expand uh, on its own. So any project we work on uh, from the start of uh, the, uh, mm. the, the year, uh, we make sure that it can expand uh, and that's what happened in uh, Rosie. We made sure that we make central hubs in different governorates and uh, these uh, central hubs could initiate new hubs on their own. So they are actually now, uh, uh, the women are uh, working on uh, their own and they are training different uh, women so they can uh, scale the project on different, uh, in different er areas. Yes, uh, Sarah, to what extent uh, winning the competition and participating in all the process that you have went through uh, from the idea, from joining an actors, uh, from preparing for the project and traveling and competing um, uh, abroad, to what extent all this did um, change your mindset regarding the plans of your future, your future plan for your own career, for what you, will going, uh, you are going to do in your future? 
Uh, firstly, I was uh, uh, since I start uh, the university, I was only thinking about uh, uh, joining maybe uh, um, medicine or medical or pharmaceutical, uh, company, pharmaceutical or company or yeah. such. So uh, after joining this competition, uh, I knew that I can uh, take an initiative and uh, make my own project and having mm. uh, um, the the country developed uh, by uh, my own project and my own ideas. Uh, I now start to mm. believe in my abilities and uh, my, uh, my, my, uh, my um, uh, ideas. Mm. Um, of course, before winning the competition, I wasn't very mm. confident as I am now. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, this uh, whole uh, experience made me more confident about myself. Yes. Same question for you, Hazim. Uh, what uh, are your future plans after uh, joining Enactus, after having this project, after winning the competition? How did you reshape uh, your ideas and mm. your future plans? Well, I was thinking about working in bank or something like that yes. uh, as uh, my uh, studies. Degree, yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, after joining an actress, mm. uh, this all reshaped as and now I want to know more about uh, entrepreneurship, how uh, I can uh, make a project th that it's sustainable. Mm. So, well, I want to work in a multinational in the first to get uh, the know-how and uh, experience, the experience, experience before yes, having before having my own, uh, uh, own project for sure. Yes. Uh, uh, Sarah, uh, uh, can we say that here uh, we are having uh, um, a future plans regarding entrepreneurial work and as of course uh, the Egyptian administration and His Excellency President Isis is keen on um, helping youth and uh, the youth is a top priority for him. Uh, do you believe that uh, uh, the future here is brighter for uh, more uh, entrepreneurial and innovative ideas to be uh, implemented on the ground and that you, you can actually have your own project which uh, would be uh, hopefully a successful one? Of course, the, the government uh, encourages always the student activities and uh, such mm. as Enactus and others. Uh, mm. They encourage us to, uh, to help the, uh, this kind of uh, projects and entrepreneurial action. Uh, and yes, this is uh, very beneficial for us. And um, the, I can see that the future is uh, bright for, uh, for, for us and mm. the other students for hel uh, holding such uh, projects. Mm. Same question, has it? Okay, so we have like support after uh, we come from uh, the yeah. competition. Uh, mm -hmm. The higher ministry uh, of education mm -hmm. uh, congratulate uh, congratulate us, mm -hmm. and uh, we have like uh, uh, different media uh, 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 channels approached us to make sure that uh, they show that the uh, Egyptian students are making something great happens in their uh, country. So. Yes, we are having uh, a total support from mm. uh, the government, yeah. Mm. Do you have uh, um, any idea here uh, uh, of your own, uh, Sara, that uh, you, you could have uh, benefited from your experience that you, you have done some, uh, I believe, uh, field work and cooperation with the NGOs? Do you believe that you would like to continue in that field or having a project related to that field as uh, a woman as well? Of course, um, uh, we were working on another project that was uh, concerned with uh, waste management mm. uh, and this project was uh, very, um, uh, I was interested in, so uh, I thought about uh, working uh, on such project in the future, uh, but maybe in uh, the waste of uh, drugs and medicines as my major is. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the, the experience of uh, Enactus and our projects we were mm. uh, working in uh, made me uh, uh, think more about uh, uh, doing such things to uh, my country and uh, and the uh, uh, social uh, so society. Mm -hmm. Do you have uh, some ideas uh, regarding uh, development, regarding uh, working with NGOs in uh, your plans for having an entrepreneurial work or to have more innovative ideas that you could have benefit from uh, throughout your uh, um, uh, experience with an actors? How did it, uh, that is giving you more ideas? for entrepreneurial work has it. Okay, so each idea we work with mm -hmm. makes us to have like uh, more new ideas to help uh, the mm -hmm. society. Yes. Uh, so we make sure that uh, we, we don't stop at uh, each new project mm -hmm. or each new uh, success we make uh, every year. Yes. Uh, so we have to make like 
to develop more and make do, new do successes. Do you uh, plan to continue with Inactus and have other products that might be competing and winning worldwide? For sure. And after we graduate, we will yeah. keep helping the other uh, generations, the upcoming generations, yeah. as uh, our alumni advisory board are making with us today. Yes, uh, Sarah? Uh, of course, I, will, uh, I have uh, extra two years in the university and I'm staying at Inactus, of course, mm -hmm. uh, as the impact we were uh, making uh, is very, um, uh, made me very passionate about the work in Inactus. Yes, indeed. Uh, Sara Khalafallah Girgis and Hazem Tariq Rifat, members of Inactus, thank you very much for thank you. Uh, being our guest and, of course, congratulations for uh, winning the competition and wish you all the success. Thank, Thank you. you very mm -hmm. much, our dear viewer. That would bring us to the end of this edition of Cairo Local Time. You are in the company of myself, Maestri Rabia, signing off.